Hi, it's Rob, and I'm back again for another Training Tuesday, here in the Baxi Solutions Academy in Warwick. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the IFOS, which is the Influ Outdoor Sensor. So let's take a look. Now the IFOS is a weather compensator. R simply lives down the air intake of the flu and pushes on to the terminal like so. Now because it's not in direct sunlight, it doesn't matter which wall it goes on. It's wired directly back to the boiler and as soon as you wire it in, it's got hold of the central heat and flow temperature going to your emitter circuit. Now on the Combi 2 range, what we would need to do is consider the type of property that you fitted the boiler in and also the level of insulation. Next, I'm gonna show you how to wire the IFOS in and also how to adjust the parameters so your customers get the maximum comfort and the maximum efficiency from using WeatherComp. Now included in the kit for the IFOS, you would receive the IFOS itself, which has a five meter cable, which would allow you to run this through the air intake of a horizontal or vertical flue up to four meters. You can run it up to nine meters in length, but you would need to purchase an additional extension cable. Now, what we do need to do is consider clipping that sensor on the end of the flue terminal. So also included in the kit is the clip for the horizontal flue and also the clip for the vertical flue. So once you've passed the IFOS cable down the air intake of the flue and clipped the sensor into position, you would then need to pass the cable down the air intake of the turret. Now, once you can see the cable just above the rainwater drip tray, you would need to pull it through the boiler until the cable is near the PCB. Now, the IFOS has two wires, one red and one black. The IFOS is not polarity sensitive, which means it doesn't matter which way round you get the wires when they go into the gray terminal block. As soon as you power up the boiler, the boiler will know what the outside temperature is and it will restrict or reduce the flow temperature going to your emitter circuit. Now, depending on the level of insulation in the property depends on the weather curve that you would set. Okay, so we've passed the IFOS cable down the air intake of the flue. We've passed it down the air intake of the turret and pulled it through and wired it into the gray connection block on the PCB. So now all we've got to do is whip the power on access the parameter and select a weather curve that is suitable for our customer. To access the weather compensation curve, first off, we need to press the menu button, which is button number three. This will open up the toolbar menu and we need to select the installer menu, which is the middle icon, which is a picture of installer with the spanner. Press the tick to confirm it and enter your installer code if it's asking you to do so. Now the parameter for weather compensation is CP230. Once CP230 is flashing on the display, press the tick to enter into it. Now the default setting for CP230 is curve 1.5. Now, depending on the emitter circuit in the property depends on which curve you're going to select. For a property that uses radiators to emit the heat, we recommend a setting for CP230 of curve number three. If the property is poorly insulated, you may need to select a higher curve, which goes to a maximum of curve number four. To select that curve, we would press the tick, so that locks it in place. We would need to press the back arrow once, twice to bring us back home. So now we've set the weather curve for the IFOS for a property that may be poorly insulated using radiators to emit the heat. So now we've locked in weather curve number four for parameter CP230. This was just a brief overview of how to install the IFOS and how to set the curve on the Combi 2 range. We've done loads more videos on weather compensation, which is available on our Baxi YouTube channel. I hope you found that video useful. 
For more information on the training courses that we offer, feel free to contact your friendly local area sales manager or head over to baxi.co.uk forward slash training.